40 or 50 lines. And then what? Then she strips and stops. What, everything? Yeah. 342, 342 from Sierra Oscar receiving, over. 342 receiving, over. How far are you from Arch Street, eh? Two minutes. There's a commotion on down there. We're on our way. Okay, I'm well, here to say, better the phone in the getting something about missiles. Good morning. Ja chciałbym prosić o azyl. Ja, ja jestem marynarzem. Chciałbym zostać w Anglii. So many syllables in there for me. Ja, ja jestem z Polski. Polski. No rozumie pan po, po Poland. Oh, Pol right, right, yes, we all have to come from somewhere. Yes. Right. What exactly do you want? Ja potrzebuję ochrony. Ochrony. Zamknijcie mnie. Zam okay. Doceli mnie. Zamknijcie. Stop! Ale ja... Stop! Ja... ja... Proszę, proszę, zamknijcie mnie do celi. Yeah, just a second, just one minute, yes? Ale ja proszę, nie, niech pan nie odchodzi. Shh, shh. No. Sure, I think I've got a bloke here with a bit of a sweat on. Will you take me to the interview room and give him a cup of tea? Taffy, no, take the comms desk for me, will you? Nie zostawiajcie mnie. Nie zostawiajcie mnie. Nie ever bothered to become a doctor in philosophy. Mike said he'd put them out. I haven't seen them, have you? No. Well, it's all I bloody. I've got to leave for court in five minutes. Where's these bloody must papers? Be somewhere. Honestly. Hey, have you got that conversion sorted yet? Yeah, Mike's bringing them in now. Great. So it should be banker rights by the time I get back, eh? Bit of bit of luck. What is he doing, leaving them there? No idea. Anyway, that'll be two good results today. It's just what we need. Put the figures up. Have you seen the uh, soccer, Ted? No. Oh yeah, yeah. He's in the canteen, I think. Right, great. I'll see you when I get back. Sarge. Yeah, hang on to a minute, will you, Taffy? Has the DI gone, Sarge? Gone when? Caught. No idea. Sarge, telephone. We'll deal with it. But it's for you, a personal call from a lady. Sarge, my missus? No. Oh, we'll get her to ring back then. Sarge, wrench. I could not go, cup of tea. I'll put him in here, Sarge. I'm sorry, Mike, it's being used. OK, upstairs. That's right, mate. Take him right down to the rafters. Teach him a lesson. Why is he up there? I have no idea. But I'm all for encouraging people. I think we should call the brigade. Supposing he does like he says and strips the whole roof. He won't. We won't give him the time. He can do an awful lot of damage, and the situation will have been severely aggravated. The situation will have been severely aggravated? You can just join the Tory party, eh? There are two left wings for me. Right. You better get up there and arrest him. I suffer from vertigo. Yeah, I'm not that keen on great food myself. But is it safe? I just want to go and bleach. All right, go around there and keep close to the wall. Is it a seat? Are we going to be on the telly? Look, we have got to get up there. Right, Taffy, what have you got for me? Oh, what if I go for a break now, Sarge? No, no Sarge. Oh. Yeah, Leave the man, Jim. He's driving me round the bend. Oh, I can't have him. Pani Vato, ja bym naprawdę nie chciał przeszkadzać. No, he's bloody scared of something. No, no. All we need here is an interpreter. No. We can't have him running around the place disturbing everyone. Hang on there a second. Vato, 
Uh, Reg, Sir. hang on though, I'll I want you to take this man through to the interview room. Come on, right, yes, and stay with him. Well, on four, sir. Let's go out. All right, now this gentleman's going to look after you. You'll be okay. Don't take me, Sarge. Sarge, could you possibly yeah. spare Sarge, a minute? What do you want me to do about this barrow business? What barrow business? Sergeant! What is it? June wants to know if there's any mobile backup in her area. Why? I don't know. The traffic's all snarled up or something. Well, we haven't got anybody available. Tell us you have to get on with it. And Sarge, right, now, what is it? that party's well, still on the line. What party? That woman, she's still holding on. I thought you told her to phone back. I did. She said she wanted to hold on. Says it's important. She's on a public call box as well. All right, put her through to my line. I'll speak to you in a minute, OK? All right, putting Sorry. you through now, madam. Jim. Sarge. Nat's from Poland. Ask him to pop round. I want to know what's going on here. Who? Nat Pizer, Balthazar Fashions, closed for the fuller figure. It's in Wentworth Street, OK? Ask him if he still speaks Polish, and if he does, can he pop round here and do us a favour? Sergeant Cryer. Sorry, who? Oh, sorry, Wendy, I didn't recognise your voice. What can I do for you? Well, Tom's not ill, is he? Oh, yeah, of course. Is it urgent? Yeah. All right, uh, now? Now you've got everyone's attention. Pack it in. Stop when I get me money. You're being reasonable. Give us ten minutes. Maybe we can work something out. Like you to deal with lunatics like this. Look, I don't care what you do to his roof, but now you're in trouble with the law. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, love. Plenty of time to get the SAS done here. Only <laughs> ten minutes for He says they're his styles, officer. This is my roof. There's no dispute about whose roof it is. And How come they are his ties if they are attached to my roof, eh? Why is he pulling them off then and chucking them down? Is that the point? He's breaking the law. For God's sake, stop him! We have stopped him for a little while. But I still think we should call the brigade. He's only given us ten minutes. Oh, there he goes again! Is there a reason why he's up there? Or did he just pick you out of the phone book? He calls himself a roofer. Right, now we're getting somewhere. He's a villain. A crook. One of those uh, cowboys. So he's up on your roof playing cowboys and Indians. Are you making fun of me? You've got to maintain a sense of humor, sir. That's our saving grace in this country. But don't you worry, we'll sort it all out. Hey, Dad. Are you Mr. Pizza? Pizza, I'm sorry. I'm Jimmy Carver from Sun Hill. Sergeant Carr wonders if he can still speak Polish, sir. Why, he wants lessons. No, sir, he needs an interpreter. If I'm the best you can do, the country must be in more of a state than I thought. But we won't keep you long, sir. I'll keep you as long as you like. What else have I got to do? Have a biscuit? I'm not on duty. You I... don't have to physically assault someone to do them harm, Arthur. It's a mental shock. We're talking about old people here. Widows. Anyway, you've got the wrong man. No, we haven't. What do you do for a living, Arthur? Gardening. Private enterprise or council? Both. It would be, wouldn't it? You wear the hat when you're weeding, Arthur? Sometimes, when the weather's inclement. Oh, when it's inclement, eh? I'll tell you what the hat's for, Arthur. You impersonate an official of the gas board, and then you thieve all the money out of the meter. Me? Oh, don't bore us with the acting routine. We've got a dozen of your victims queuing up to identify you. Victim? Go on, mister. Come off. Now you start joining in. Off you go. We have landed ourselves in the middle of a financial dispute. Oh, no. What's the story? He says he had a new roof and paid for it in full. Now, he says he wants more money. Well, what's the matter with these people? Don't they keep books? If he wasn't throwing it all over the street, it wouldn't be anything to do with us. Go on, mister. Please. Oi. 
I told you to clear off. It's a pity you didn't chuck him somewhere else. We could let him get on with it. How the hell did he get up there? Well, a ladder, I suppose. What ladder? Where? Well, I don't know. Around the back, maybe. There's no back. I checked. Is there a way across that pub roof? No, they're redecorating. Key holders away. They're going to do nothing, mister! Oh. Do you want to get arrested? Me? What have I done? Inciting a riot and causing a civil disturbance. Now, get lost. <laughs> Has he got a skylight? First thing I asked him. Nope. But he must have got up there somehow. Look, I'll tell you what. You go and squeeze her a bit more. I'm going to go up there and see what I can see. Then we'd better see about getting the road blocked off before someone gets hurt. Right. Go on, mister. Just for luck. So, Bob, how goes it? Nice. How are you? I'm a spare part, Bob. That's what it's come down to. Of course you're not. How's business? It's terrible. We make outsized dresses and everybody's dieting. Thin is in. What you got in your bag? Oh, yes, very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, now, I've got a bloke here, and I'm pretty sure he's from Poland. <laughs> you know how long it's been since I've had a conversation in Polish, Bob? I've been here over 50 years. I'm more British than the royal family. <laughs> yes, madam. No, it's all right, Jim. I'll suit to the lady. Right, do what you can for us, Nat. Take Mr. Pizer through to the interview room and get two cups of tea. Right, Sarge. So this way, Mr. Pizer. OK. Is it all right? Of course it is. Sergeant's wife, aren't you? Right, let's give her those bags, eh? Sir, I'll be up in the canteen. Just put these through in the parade room, eh? I'm asking you to be sensible! I've been sensible for months! Where did it get me? Me. But that bastard's gonna get his. I want him to bloody suffer. Look, I'm asking you one last time. Please come down. No! How'd you get up there anyway? Helicopter! Right. You're for it. Well? Stubborn bugger won't budge. I'm sorry we could have got out there, though. There's a skylight above that shop. Oh, really? You do. I hate heights. From observations we've made, it looks like the only way Bruff could have got up onto the roof is through your skyline. Yes. So we would like to go up there ourselves. Have a word with him. Do you have a warrant? Do we need one? I don't know. You're assisting the police in their inquiries, Mr. Brutal. We don't have to have warrants to ask the cooperation of the public. I am not only a law-abiding man, I am also a fair man. I will not help you to arrest Mr. Bruff. Better he should strip all the tiles from the roof. Oh, so you know this roofer? Yes. How? He's worked on my roof. He's done a lot of work around here. He's quite well known. Why do you let Bruff go through your place and get up there? Didn't you realize it would lead to trouble? I thought that, that once that unscrupulous bugger next door realized that Bruff was desperate and that he was willing Did to... Did Bruff threaten you? On the contrary. I invited him. You invited him? I don't want to get heavy, sir. But if you don't start cooperating, you're going to be arrested for obstructing the police. On such an occasion, it would be an honor. Go, no, we've got to get 
get up there. We'll have to get the brigade. You were caught with your hand in the till. Meter. Don't be funny, Simpkins. I'm not in a good mood. Meter, it's different. Is it so? What's so bloody different about it? It's stealing, thieving, nicking. Am I using the right word for you? You're not. What do you call it then, Arthur? Tax avoidance. Tax of. What are you on about? You put on a peaked cap, you carry a book, you knock on doors and you force meters. It's artificially high, the price of gas. It's the government. It's just another way of taxing us. Put it in your manifesto, Arthur. I think we're going to have trouble pinning it on him, you know? What do you mean? It's him. He's confessed. No yeah, questions. Yeah, I know it's him, all right, but... But what? I don't know. Oh, come on. We've been after that sod for months. Look, I'm not saying that we give up on him. You keep at him. I'll go and get Bob to organize a lineup. All right? Right. It's like I said. Uh, it's Tom. <sighs> this is really difficult for me, Bob. I kept putting it off. I mean, you both work together. Well, take your time. Well, it wasn't. It's not a bad marriage, as marriages go. Mm. Uh, sorry to interrupt, look, Bob. Uh, could you bring in a few faces from the leather factory for a 12-15 lineup? Well, I got a couple of ladies who think they can identify the bloke who's been ripping people off, posing as a gas board official. The well, gas board rips everybody off, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Well. well. Like I was saying, um, as marriages go, uh, then what, a few months back, it just started to go wrong. Well, every man leaves his wife sometime, Wendy. I mean, even if he doesn't actually do it. I could take that. What I can't take is the violence. What? He beats me, Bob. Punches me. Tom. It's no good looking at my face. He makes sure it won't show. Bob, uh, sorry to interrupt. Morning, my dear. Yeah, well, what's up? I found out quite a bit. Yeah, okay. He's from... Yeah, let's see it, Let me just wait there. Bob, don't forget now, eh? No, I won't. Bob, what's the story? He's from Gdansk. It says his name is Ignacy Bitos. He's a seaman, a deckhand of the Mariana B. She birthed at Tilbury the day before yesterday. He says he's being followed. He's nervous, frightened, and he wants asylum. <laughs> Not bad after 50 years, eh? Hey? Oh, it's just what we need. Asylum. <laughs> what you learn as a boy, you don't forget. Of course, my two fine sons, those grand gentlemen graduates of the business school, they think their old man is soft in the head. They think that because I... Can, can you hang on here for a while? Me? I'd rather be here than there. You think those two like having me around? Yeah. They well, put up with me. I'm in the way. They want me to retire 100%. They want to get rid of me. What would I do? <laughs> Children, no, 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 who that I, Is he genuine, this bloke? Mm, he seems real enough to me. Although, who can tell? Look, have another natter with him now, eh? And uh, get all his information down on paper, OK? Mm, sure. Oh. Maybe I could be the official Polish interpreter here. Maybe you could put me on the staff. We don't have any call for pattern covers, Matt. <laughs> I'm being serious. Oh. Am I too old to become a policeman? No, not too old, man. Too short. <laughs> I'm talking about a sense of purpose, of responsibility, Edwards. Do you follow me? I'm not sure you know where you're going. I don't know what you mean, sir. It's not static, you know, the police force. Not these days. That's why I think this position would open up opportunities for... Yes, come in. Yes, Sergeant. Sorry. Uh, looks like we've got a case of political asylum downstairs, sir. Polish seaman. Oh my I've got Nat so Pizer in. He's helping us with the language. Good. We'll make sure this Pole is who he says he is. Yeah, I'm taking care of that. I mean, he might be a nutter, that's all right. Yeah, that's right. OK. Right, Edwards. Oh, Bob! Bob, oh, sir. Just make sure he's not from Crouch End, will you? Crouch End? Yes, you remember that incident a couple of years ago? Two students from Hornsey College of Art went into Tottenham Nick. Uh, yeah. Pretending to be a couple of demented arrows without a word of English between them. The local constable in a right state. Rag week. Right, sir. Right. Okay. I'll take care of it.
You're not sure whether to believe me, are you? Well, you never know what goes on between people, that's for sure, Wendy. Have you talked to him about it? I mean... You mean, like, when he's not in a rage? Yeah. I've tried. What did he say? Well, he says it's my fault. Says I goad him. You know how serious it could be for you if you made these allegations officially, don't you? I'm not making allegations, Bob. Listen, you're not talking to some stranger at the front desk. I've been battered, black and blue. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We've got to get a bit of privacy. Um, well, I'll take you downstairs. Oh, Sarge. Um, the Chief Super wants me to apply for that job as coroner's officer. What do you think? Well, it's dead men's shoes a job like that, isn't it, Tappy? Listen, I'm in the way. Well, I'll tell you if you're in the way. It's important you being here. I just want to find somewhere a bit quiet, that's all. Now, I'm going to have to dash off now again, but don't worry, all right? Now, let's see if we can find you something to sit there. been going on then? About four or five months. He just explodes. He's grumpy, moody, then bang. He didn't eat before? No. Well. Have you spoken to anyone professionally? Like the Marriage Guidance Council? He won't go. He's not interested. He won't talk. He won't communicate. And I'm at the end of the road. Well, it's promotion. Get off. Well, it is. That's what he said, more or less. It's a wind-up. You're going to see Taffy stuck out on your own. Great job, that, Taff. Lots of action. Looking at sniffs all day. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't ask me. You should have applied, Pidge. Well, I would have done if I thought the suit would back me. You're a pawn, mate. It's playing politics with you. Yeah, wake up, Taffy. You thought you lot were supposed to be canny. No, it's the Scots that are canny. The welter are ingenuous. Not In where? Trouble. The trouble is, they'd be attached to the course all the time, wouldn't they? Full time. That's the only thing. Sounds good to me. I'll get away from this dump. It's not too late, Rich. Taffy hasn't got a job yet. But I'm the one being offered. What's ingenuous? Sort of disarming, Rich. Calm. I accept him. Uncomplaining. A bit like you. You know what the consequences are, don't you, Wendy? If this goes any further than me, it could be finished. I mean... I know. What's he like here? What's he like to work with? Same as ever. Sure. Yeah, he's like he always is. Look, something's getting to him badly. I've been through everything else, and whatever it is, it's here at work. And he seems all right. Look, I've got to go and check something out, Wendy. I'm sorry. I won't be a jiffy, all right? Uh, it's always been a bloody toilet no, around I'm here. I'm talking about before the war. You should have seen Whitechapel on a Saturday afternoon. Shops, people, life. There was a lovely feeling down here. Wonderful. Now what have you got? The place is full of foreigners. Too right. Well, you were a foreigner when you got here. Don't be smart, you. We were European. What are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm having a break. Well, you're supposed to be downstairs. I was downstairs. I'm having a break now. For God's sake, Matt. I'm trying to run a police station. So run it. Don't stampede Look, it. I want you to have another word with this bloke. Because I've got to I be already sure don't... that he's genuine. But I it told you... He could be a crook. Could be on the run from the Polish police. Now, come on. Come and suss him out for me. First he wants an interpreter, now he wants a psychologist. See you later. 
Come on, Reg, we best be getting back. Do you know, at my last nick, we used to get 20 minutes. Ted, what's going on? What's the problem? You've commandeered every room, and the place, interview room, parade room, I've got someone here at quarter past. Yeah. Where's my lineup? Solid. Alec. I oh, don't say it. Like I mean, it's not as if you've got anything else going on downstairs, oh, is it? Come eh? on, don't come back. You're going to sound like Roy. Can you organise a lineup for me? <sighs> I'm really, I'm up to my neck. I'm doing my monthly report. Please. Yeah, all right. Oh, Taffy, look, near around the factory, will you? Get me a dozen. What was it? White, black, brown, yellow, blue, uh, green, white, orange. male, Caucasian, clean shaven, fifty-ish. No, I can't, Sarge. They're on strike. Well, get them off the streets. Have I got time for? A no, you haven't. What's the matter with you? You're all at sixes and sevens. Sixes and sevens, Ted. It's eights and nines. It's bloody inflation. Listen, I've got a job coming up for you all up. Boost your figures. Never mind about that. Let's do the line off. Reg. Sarge. Nat's going to have a few more words with that Polish bloke in the interview room, right? Now, we need the space, so when he's finished, get Jim to put him into a cell, but don't lock the door. Who? Well, not Nat, you idiot. The Pole. Yeah, but which one? Anyone! Just don't lock the door. Leave it wide open. We're not holding him, understand? Yeah, I understand. But which one? There's three of them. Three what? Poles. Another two come in while you was upstairs. <sighs> well, where are they? We're just round the corner here. Do they speak English? I don't think so. International Bloody Convention. I'll tell you, we're going to have to send out for some more of those. Listen, mm. Matt, what I want you to do uh, is stay with, uh, what's his name? Victor. That's right, yeah. And uh, I'll get someone to phone the factory for you, tell them that you're going to be here for a bit. Don't. Let them worry. It'll do them good. <laughs> right. Either of you speak English? A little. A little. What can we do for you? We are looking for a friend from our ship. What makes you think he's here? He followed. Well, we can't help you at the moment, I'm afraid. Ignacy is having trouble with his heart. Heart? He's having a woman here. He's in love. Oh, well, is that right? We would like to speak to him, please. Well, you'll have to wait. So, All right? So, so, I will just let me touch your camera. Yes, I do. 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 Well, I'm no expert. He seems genuine enough. Tell him his two shipmates are in, I want to talk to him. You want me to translate that? Put me in the cell, Jim. It's the safest place. All right, Sarge. It's all over. Oh, and let the CID know. I think they'll probably want to have a word with him. Sarge. Can you help him explain? I thought you told me you could speak English. Get up to the canteen for me and get a cup of tea for that lady in the parade room, eh? Yeah. Who is she, Sarge? Any news from Ivan June? No, I think so. I haven't had so much excitement since Jack Fishbourne was raided by the VAT. I told you to stay there. All right. Ja zostanę tu. Ty zadzwoń do kapitana. What was he saying? He's gone to phone for the captain. Is he now? I want you to stay with this, all right? Yeah, fine, man. You, behave yourself. Christ! What's up? This ladder is not safe. You're too heavy. Keep still. Stop acting like a fool and come down. Back it in before someone gets hurt. I'm not budging from here till I get paid. I'll strip the whole thing. Why should he get away with it? I'm not getting involved in your financial affairs, but, but you're breaking the law, and you're going to force me to take action. Then you'll have no money, and you'll be in front of a judge. That's fine by me. Right.
Help me for God's sake. Don't move. Give me a hand. You promise? Yes, yes, yes. Get yourself against the chimney stack. <laughs> Only tread on the cracks. Easy. Where are you from? Sun Hill? Yes. No? A few weeks. Well, they know all about it there. Know all about what? This. What do you mean? I went in this morning. Told them I was going to try and get up here. Said they were my tiles. I told him I... You told I'd... who? Young copper on the desk. You told him mm. about this? Mm. I got bills, receipts for materials, and I keep proper books. What did he say, this young copper on the desk? Not much. Didn't seem interested. You say you've given receipts to Mr. Mohammed? Yep. How much do you say still owes you? 1800 Thanks. I know you lot. The old Nick would have sworn I pushed you. Hello. Can I help? Oh, yes, I was just looking for the ladies. Are you being attended to? Is somebody looking after you? Oh, yes, thanks. Oh, good. Yes, it's down here. First left, left again. What's this, Ollie Woods? Bob? They're not all poles, are they? No, sir, it's an identity parade. Oh, it's with us now. You didn't sell, sir. Is that wise? Things can be twisted, you know. Well, there's the idea in there, talking to him. With your Mr. Peter. That's right, sir. I'd have thought they'd have wanted an official interpreter by now. Oh, they've been on to the SB about that, I believe. Oh, they'll have a home office down here next. The whole place will be crawling with brass. All clean, are we? Nothing they shouldn't see. Spotless, sir. Go. Oh, straight on. Oh, Bob! Come Tom Penny's wife, I saw just now. Yeah, come on, sir. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Is, uh, everything all right? That's fine, sir. Good. Sarge, I've just had a call. There's been a break-in at the flats on Moreland Road. They've got some bloke barricaded in a bedroom on the seventh floor. It's around the corner from Arthur Street, isn't it? Yes, Sarge. What are June and Abe up to? Well, they're still there, as far as I know, Sarge. What? Get June on the air. They've been on that job long enough. They've left the manage on his own. Six four three. Are you just going to look at them? Are you going to sort them out? Oh, I'll sort them out. Yeah, that's good. Sorry. Six, four, three, no, let me have it. Let me have it. Here. June, get round to Moreland Road. There's a man being detained in the flats there. Seventh floor. I'll send assistance. And tell Abe I want this business wrapped up fast. All right? Tell to stop pussyfooting around. Ah, traffic. All ready for the big parade? Yes, sir. So they're all waiting for the station. Yeah. Tell me I've got another job for you. There's a man being barricaded in a bedroom by the Moreland Road vigilantes, right? June's on her way round there. I want you to nip round in the car and give her a hand, OK? No! Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Ted, this way, please. Now, anywhere you like, sir. Hi. Thank you. you happy there? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, sir. First witness, please. I have a feeling this isn't going to be one of those no, cases like that add to the, the crime please. solved figures. If you put well, up it's only that gas board. Back, all right. Now, you can ask any of the men to turn their heads or speak. And if you recognise the man that came into your house, I just want you to tap him on the shoulder, all right? Yes. Please take your time. Excuse me, Sarge. Mike, the eyes on the phone from the court. Sounds a bit urgent. Mm. Cheers, Pete.
That's him. You must be mistaken. Thank Never you very much. You Thank you, Mrs. Bly. If you'd like to leave the station by that door over yes. there, I thank you for your help. Yeah. You can change places if you wish. No, thanks. I'm quite happy here. Have you been to see a doctor? What do you mean? Well, have you had occasion to go to a doctor? What kind of doctor? You don't think I'm crazy, do you? No, 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 no. no. I was just wondering whether the attacks had been serious enough for you to seek medical help. Well, have they? Well, there's not a lot you can do about bruises, Bob. I mean, that's the kind of evidence you're going to have to give. Evidence? Yes, evidence. Look, I don't Proof. want to go that far. I... That's not why I came in here. Well, I'm sorry, Wendy, but I... I don't know what you do want. Look. You and Tom are mates of mine. But in this situation, you're no different to any other woman in the land. What do you mean? Well, it's a domestic problem. And just because he's a policeman, this is your private life. It's nothing to do with us unless it interferes with his duties. And as far as I can see, it doesn't. Look, supposing you went up to see the chief soon, but... I don't believe it. Laughing boy. Sergeant, uh, you're wanted to say. He's not still up on that bloody roof, is he? Don't know, Sarge. I'm sorry, Wendy. I'll be as quick as I can, really. Sarge? Who is that, buddy? None of your business. If anyone asks you, she wasn't here. That's logic, Sarge. That's it. Yeah, we'll try and live with it. Of course I did, Gov. I called last thing, and then I checked again this morning just to make sure. But there wasn't any reply. I assumed that it meant that she was on her way. Do you want me to check with her, Nick? He says he went into Sunhill this morning and told whoever was on the desk he intended stripping the tires because they were his. He's winding you up, Abe. Don't think so, Sarge. He's got books and towels. The lot. He seems a respectable kind of bloke. You are not running a small claims court, Littleton. Bring him in. He's causing a disturbance. But he won't come off the roof, Sarge. And it's very steep. He says if we call in the brigade, he'll strip it down to the rafters. Token Dell, you some of the Irish Blarney of yours. It's not Irish Blarney, Sarge. It's Hackney Charisma. Whatever. Sarge, I think we should call his bluff. All right, Abe. They're on their way. Get the brigade. Cutting a tree, mate. Man on a roof. Injured, threatening suicide? No, he won't come down. Not aiming for the Guinness Book of Records, is he? He's stripping the tiles off the roof. Unlawfully. Yeah, I see that. Right, we'll get the ladder up. So, the CID finished with him? Yes, they're going off to call the special branch or home office or somebody. Immigration, I expect. But you stay with Vitos, keep his mind off his two friends, all right? I'm with you, Bob. Good man. As soon as he's down, you can go. Let's pour some bloody other ground here. Right then. As soon as you bring him down, he's under arrest. I can't bring him down. Physical impossibility. Why not? Because I ain't going up there. Why not? Not my job. No fire, no danger to life. Not my job to make the arrest. Well, who's going up? You are, mate. I can't climb. I can't stand heights. Can't help that. We're just providing the appliance as per instructions. And even if we do go up, we've got no authority. We say come down. And if he doesn't want to come, that's it. That's it, mate, see? No authority. Will one of you come up with me? What do you say, Harry? Well, I don't know. I'll back my dad. 
Oh, there you are. Go volunteer. Go lucky day. Must be the twinkle in your eye. Under arrest. Come and put the cuffs on then. Come on. Let's see ya. Are you refusing to comply with my request? I'll see every tile on this roof is smashed before I leave it. Now you want to arrest me? You come over here. Try it. Down. What's up? Blood pressure. How's it going? What have you achieved, Abe? That's what I'm asking you. It's a talking down situation here, Sarge. I'm doing my best, but it's going to take time and patience. Will you get it sorted out for God's sake, Abe, and as quick as you can? Look, what he's proposing is this. He'll give you 1,200. Ow. Check. <laughs> a scrap paper. What about half cash, half check? Has he offered that? I'm offering it. You accept it, I'll see what he says. I want it all in cash. But I've come this far, I might as well go all the way. You're gonna need it, friend, for the fine you're gonna have to pay. And at eight, plus 600 for putting the tiles back. I hope you can speak English. I get mine. The balance has been dead all day. The plantains are starting to go rotten. What? The plantains. They look like green bananas. The Sergeant Cryer? Yes. Matthews, Immigration and Nationality. Oh, thank heavens for that. Hollis, take care of the front desk for me, will you? Right, sir. I'll take you through to our man. Look after those for me. Okay. I want to be absolutely certain that he gets the full weight of justice. The full weight. Rely on it. 1300 and that's my final offer. Don't say final, Mr. Mohammed. It looks like rain. I've been pondering, Wendy. He's been passed over twice. Now, I think it might have hit him that this is it, that he's going to stay a sergeant forever. Now, it could be that that's bothering him. I see. But why doesn't he talk about it? That's the sort of thing you keep to yourself. But he's not keeping it to himself, is he? I mean, he's taking it out on me. Well, we all do that. The only people we can hurt sometimes is family. My best girl. I haven't come up with much, have I? Well, you've let me talk, Bob, and that's what I needed more than anything else. Things, things are clearer now. I think I know where to start. You can always come back if need be, eh? But you did the right thing coming in. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Who is that female? Don't you think about anything else except Scotch and women? Well, you got the order wrong, but well, no. <laughs> Is it off a nip-off now, Sarge? What? Oh, where did the day go? See you, Pete. See you, Jim. Uh, Jim! Sorry. Did some bloke come in here this morning, early, 
something about taking tiles off a roof. What, a chap did come in and said he had materials on a site not paid for? Materials on a... Didn't you ask him what he meant? Oh, not exactly, Sarge, no. So what did you say? Well, nothing. It's nothing to do with us, is it? Nothing to do with us? Abe's been out there all day sorting this well, out. he just came in and... Why didn't you get his particulars? Why didn't you call me? Well, it gives me initiative, Sarge. There seemed no reason to. You're bloody careless. Well, I'm sorry, Sarge, but how was I to know? All right, go on. Off you go. Yeah. All gone, have they? Poland. What a country. I'm glad my parents left. <laughs> Look who's here. Hello, <laughs> Hello, June. How are you? Fine. You? Uh, I've got a lot to complain about, but I don't. Sarge. Haven't seen you a month? Yeah. I've been thinking. I'm not going to take that job uh, in the coroner's office. Sure. Have you said as much upstairs? No, not yet. Well, choose your words carefully when you do, Taffy. How do you mean? The chief super's got his eye on you. Yes, but why? Because you've not been pulling your weight. And I've told you. Oh, come on, Sarge. I've just brought a prisoner in single-handed. Oh, yeah? And what about you? You're always saying that. <laughs> Listen, you come to the factory, I'll fix you up with something. Well, no disrespect, Matt, but I'm a size 12. Don't worry about size. Let me worry about size. I'll make sure you're fixed up all right. Don't worry. An alteration here, a pleat there, a tuck somewhere else. Never mind about tucking her in somewhere else. Get your hands off. That's government property. I'm a taxpayer, aren't I? Part of us mine. We're going up the pub. Hey, 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 how'd you get on? You want us to get you one in? What about Sinkins? We had to let him go, Gav. What? Well, no one would finger him because of the rebates. Rebates? Well, what he would do, apparently, was this. He'd empty out the meters, and then he'd say to the old dears, Oh, look, you've overpaid. And he'd bung him a handful of silver. That is all I need. Robin Hood Simpkins on the North Thames <laughs> gas bomb. That's not much of a result, is it? Well, I hear you didn't get too good a result yourself. No. Do you want us to get you one in, then? Yeah. I don't know what he's getting so worked up about. It's only the gas board. Well, he's all electric, isn't he? <laughs> Here. What a day I've had. Oh, yeah? I don't buy the googlies. Samples, specimens, doctor's reports, dabs, the lot. All day at the Bailey and she don't show. What's that, that prostitute? Yeah, she's had her teeth kicked out. Those two bastards are beating her black and blue and she doesn't turn up. Yeah? I get Mike to give her a local knicker ring. They go around there. Turns out she's done a run. I can't get rid of mine because I don't know where she is. So I have to get our brief to stand up in court and offer no evidence. Well, perhaps she's scared. Or they've nobbled her. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but you know the worst thing? The worst thing of all? Those two animals, all the time they're in court, were smiling at me from the dock. One of them gave me a bloody wave. No mind. I hope you'll get them sooner or later. Yeah. Well, before they bash another car up. Hey, come over for a drink. No, I want to get home. I'll see you, eh? Yeah, I'll see you. Hello, Tom. Hey, Bob. Hey, busy? About the same as usual. 